Chapter 3, Mishnah 3. The Torah in Devarim chapter 15, verse 19, prohibits shearing the wool of a Bechor. This prohibition applies even to a blemished Bechor. See Rav on Mishnah 4. However, plucking hair by hand is not considered shearing and is permitted on the biblical level. Nevertheless, as an additional safeguard, the rabbis decreed that it is forbidden even to tear out the animal's wool by hand. Our Mishnah presents some exceptions to this rabbinic prohibition. Rabbi Yossi ben Meshulam says, one who is slaughtering a Bechor, whether an unblemished Bechor as a Korban or a blemished Bechor outside the base of Mikdash, makes a space for the meat cleaver, i.e. the slaughtering knife, to either side by pulling out the hair on the neck, as long as he does not move the detached hair from its place. That is, after plucking the hair, he must leave it entangled in the hair that remains on either side. A blemished Bechor is unfit to be brought as an offering and may be slaughtered and eaten immediately, even re without redemption. However, it first must be shown to a qualified sage who determines whether the blemish is the type that permits the Bechor to be slaughtered, see Mishnah, Mishnah's in chapter 4, Mishnah's 3 through 5, and chapter 6. The Mishnah applies the previous law to this situation. The same law applies to someone who pulls out the hair of a Bechor that has a possible blemish. If the animal's hair is covering the area of the blemish, it is permitted to pluck the hair to allow a sage to inspect the area of the blemish, as long as it is left entangled in the surrounding hair.